good late Saturday night here on the Oregon coast. Actually, I guess it's early Sunday morning now. Uh, it's about um, 75 degrees out on a beautiful night overlooking the Pacific Ocean out the windows of the Light Grid Studio, Pleiadian Light Grid Project in association with Pleiadian Express Productions. Tonight, we're going to hear a talk about mm, life from Mr. X. And here in the Light Grid Studios, take it away, Mr. X. All right, man, thanks. So, here we go. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I just thought I'd uh, grab the mic and have a little speech with a little talk with all everybody out there in the world today. Uh there's a few things that I would like to tell you or share with you. Pretty much, it, it comes down to this. Basically, this is not just, this is sort of like a little uh, uh, test or a little project or mind just to see, just to see what positive energy attracts. So I'm just going to put a little bit of positive energy out there and, uh, you know, I'm just going to uh, take a look at the feedback of just what a positive notion or a positive idea uh, has in it, as in like substance or power, you know, um, a lot of people say that positive energy attracts positive, you know, and, and, and a positive idea will grow or, uh, you know, it, it always, it will never stop growing. It just goes and goes. Well, anyways, uh, so I'm kind of taking that, this, uh, you know, I'm going to, we'll see what happens there with this whole idea. I mean, everything starts with a, with an idea, right? So here's the idea. I'm going to come and bring something positive, and uh, hopefully it will, you know, it will, hopefully a lot of you guys will relate to it or resonate, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, maybe you guys will hear it, maybe not, whatever. Maybe it means something, maybe it don't. I really don't give a fuck. Either way, this is really all about me, me personally, because uh, that's just what it is. So... Uh, as long as I am uh, able to give a little positive energy to the world, then I'm okay with that. <clears throat> so, just briefly, you know, I'll get into a little short story or maybe share a couple things about myself with uh, everybody. Uh, my life, um, well... My life has been just great. I wouldn't change a thing, um, you know, but I, I lived my life uh, in the fast lane. You know, I was uh, just a wild child, one of the, you know, I don't know, I guess you would just say the, the wild, on the wild side, you know, I was always going, 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 you know, I was into drugs. I was into, you know, whatever, just, uh, you know, I was just one of the wild child. So, you know, life kind of passed me by, you know, without even really, you know, even out of the time to even realize what life was really all about. So until recently, I never really um got a dose of uh, reality and what life was really all about. But uh, it just so happens that... Uh, now that I'm 41 years of age, um, just so happens I got a little piece of reality. And this is all, you know, I don't know, probably within five months that uh, I've come to terms and realized exactly what life was all about. Or, you know, not even that. I'm still learning. Every day is a learning curve, you know. But uh, so anyways, this is just... Uh, a few things that I've learned in the last few uh, months of myself in my life. And I'm sure lots of you guys would already know this shit. 
Um, I mean, you know, it's like something that a normal person would know <laughs> and something that a normal person <laughs> knew about year at a younger age. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't uh, one of those people. <laughs> um, so mainly, mainly this, this could be targeting, you know, some of the, uh, some of the, uh, some of you people out there that. I don't know, may not have ever gave a fuck about shit uh, your whole life, you know, and, uh, you know, whatever you want to do, you know, that was that, and, you know, and life is just as it is. But now, now that we're all old and shit, and we're not kids anymore, we, you know, um, I don't know, uh, let's say, let's see, I'm trying to find the words to use here, um, uh, well, let's just skip that part. This is this is for everybody, not just. I'm not going to target or anybody or anything. So this is more of a broad, broader fucking thing here. So, um, you know, unfortunately, it took a serious. You know, I. I have, I've had lots of girlfriends in my time, you know, in my life or whatever, you know, and, you know, just girlfriends or whatever, but, you know, it was like until, you know, finally one day I met, I well, I'd met her like 20 years ago, but we broke up, but so I, I ended up getting back with this girl, and so, you know, blah, blah, blah. It, it lasted for about two years or so. And, uh, you know, we bro it broke, it, it ended up, you know, we, we went our different ways and stuff. So, but it wasn't until, you know, after we broke up that I left, um, that I realized, you know, it's, um, you know, how breakups are hard and everybody's, you know, heartbroken and all this. But, you know, this time it was a little bit, it was a little bit more than just a, a heartbreak or a breakup. Um, you know, I realized after about a week or so of just total, you know, just bawling my brains out, you know, just just unbelievably, like, that maybe it wasn't just that, you know. Maybe I had uh, something else going on that was really fucked up in my head. And so, you know, it... It took me quite some time to really realize what the hell the problem really was that was, you know, at at me so, so bad, you know. Um, I was, you know, because I was into drugs and stuff my whole life, you know, all the girlfriends that I had, you know, I really didn't really love them. You know, I didn't really, I mean, it was just another girlfriend. It was just another day, you know, it was just another whatever episode or, you know, whatever to me. I mean, not, I've never really had anybody or anybody in my life really that have really meant really in much to me. Like, you know, I, I guess, I guess I could say that I never really fell in love with anybody before until this last girl that I was with. Um, and uh, it, it's it seemed, may seem kind of funny, but, you know, while I was with her, I was only with her for two years, but while I was with her, I didn't even really realize that I loved her, even then. You know, I may have thought I did, or, or you know, whatever, but uh, it wasn't until after we broke up, and, you know, everybody will say, oh, well, hey, dumbass, you stupid motherfucker, <laughs> duh, you know, uh, you don't know what you got until it's gone. I mean, come on, that's the oldest saying in the book, right? And, yeah, okay, you know, nobody does really know what they have until they're gone. But, you know, that uh, wasn't until fucking this, you know, when reality fucking hits you and it's you that it's hitting, you know, things are, uh, you know, that, that's when shit gets real. And, you know, all you, all, these, all you people out there that are thinking, oh, this stupid motherfucker, you know, what a dumbass, you know, he's in your channel ranting and raving about his little little episode that he had or whatever. <coughs> well, that's cool. You can uh you can think whatever the hell you want. It really doesn't matter to me. Um 
but what I am what I am here to say is that uh, uh, there's there's more to buy this whole this whole deal than what we think, you know. Um, anyways, back to this little uh, side steps sideshow story. Uh, I realized that you know I never really loved myself. You know, it wasn't really, you know, I was like, I was thinking, you know, what the hell? How can I be so brokenhearted over this girl? And then I realized, you know, that I, I never really loved myself. I never really cared about life, and I never really gave a fuck about anything. You know, all I, all I had to give a fuck about was my dope and my drugs and my, that was it. You know, I was, I was, uh... A spoiled kid, you know, whatever I wanted I'd have, you know, I didn't have to worry about working for things. I didn't have to worry about being on the grind and, uh, you know, everything was just sort of uh, given to me, you know, if I needed something, it was there. So the only thing I really had to keep, uh, you know, hidden and, uh, you know, that I even had to worry about was, uh, you know, getting the next <laughs> sack or bag or whatever the fuck it was. So, you know, um, and yeah, in the end, all that shit come back and kick me in the ass, but that's all right. You know, like I said, I wouldn't change a thing in life, but, uh, so pretty much I'm sitting here thinking, well, what the hell is my big problem? Well, I realized, you know, that I never did love myself. I never did care. I really didn't, you know, and at this point when this went down, Folks, I was at 285 pounds, okay, and I'm 5'6", okay, so basically I couldn't walk uh, 25 feet without having to sit down, and, and, and that was about it, you know, so my health was uh, pretty much gone. I was, I was drinking to the point where I could drink all day. I could drink, you know, 12, uh, 12 percent, you know, locos or whatever, you know, all day long, and not even catch a buzz, and just be fucking, just barely even moving, <laughs> you know. So, pretty much, I ran in until I pretty much was dead, uh, you know. Sadly, sadly to say, but uh, you know, I guess whatever it took to kick me in the ass, uh, I guess you know. Uh, it just so happens this girl I was with, you know, it was it was more of a financial situation that she was in it for. You know, I was paying her bills and shit and keeping everything paid up and shit, you know. But, but during that time, she really did treat me good. And she really, you know, um, it, to me, it was something more than that I could have ever imagined. But I think about it, and I think, you know, this girl, you know, she knew what the fuck was going on, but, you know, it's like, you, you don't really think about all the things in life that mean the most until, you know, it's done and over with. You know, it's sort of like, uh, for example, you know, your, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your, your grandpa, your cousins, so some family member. Or somebody dies, or your brother or sister, or somebody dies in your family that you loved really a lot, you know. And, uh, you know, it isn't until then, until after it happens, that you stop. You just, you just stop because you're, you know, you're all caught up in this little world life that you're in, you know. And it isn't until then that you stop and you think about what the fuck you know, that's when reality hits you and all these, you know, things that mean the most or should have mean, meant the most to you in the time that you were in, you know. See, all the timing's all fucked up. Everybody's timing's fucked up, you know. It seems to me, you know, I've noticed everybody, I, mean, I can't say everybody because there's people that, don't take things for granted, granted, but, but you know, most of us, uh, like I did, I took everything for life for granted, you know, I just, uh, 
you know, I, I never really took the time to stop and think about, you know, what mattered in life or, you know, or any, any of that stuff, you know. I just never had, I never needed to. You know, all I needed to do was get another bag and just run it until the fucking hubs rubbed. Or, you know, just... <laughs> and that's just how I lived my life, you know. It was just basically in a nutshell, you know, wide fucking open. You know, I'd wake up and, you know, <laughs> get loaded and I would go for days, you know. And, and eventually, you know... Eventually, you know, I, I'm thankful for what happened. You know, this this last relationship really fucking smacked me right in the fucking brain. It really did. Um, you know, after we broke, after I had left this girl, um, thank, thank God, thankfully, <coughs> thankfully, I had at least one one real true friend. That that's Larry. Yes, I'm sure all of you guys know Larry Loggins. Um, so you know, I guess uh, I got to give it up for my homeboy Larry. We've been best friends since day one. He's always been there, uh, and uh, thank God I had him to put me up. You know, uh, he, you know he had a spare room. He could let me have and. You know, I rented a room from, you know, he put me up. <clears throat> so, you know, thank God for that, because I don't know what the hell I would have done. But anyways, anyways, let's just get, uh, I'm, I'm going to jump into this real quick. So basically, in a nutshell, um, I, I, I'm sitting here, you know, and I realize that I didn't, I never did love myself. I never really even knew shit about life, period, really. Um, you know, I didn't really realize that, you know, um, I didn't even know what it was like to even love anybody, <laughs> you know. Um, I didn't even, it, it, it sounds kind of crazy, but I didn't even realize that I loved this girl while we were together. It wasn't until we broke up and that I left her that I realized just how much, or that I even did love her. I didn't even know what love was really even felt like. You know, that's a pretty bad, sad uh, thing to say. But you know what? Fuck denial. I don't give a fuck about denial. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about me or my story. You could all kiss my ass. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to tell it how it is. Nobody can tell it but me. And so here I am telling it. So, you know, rather, rather you can relate to it or not. Well, uh, whatever, it really, it really doesn't mean nothing, but, um, any, anyways, um, uh, so, wherever I was, or whatever I was talking about, was just, uh, basically, in a nutshell, uh, I realized that, you know, fuck that. You know, um, the first thing I realized is I didn't know how to love myself. So what I did is I started love, you know, learning how to do that. And pretty much how I did that was, is I would just, I looked at myself, you know, and realized, you know, I just looked at myself and was like, fuck, dude, you're just about dead, you know. You can barely fucking get up and go to the bathroom. I mean, you can barely wipe your own ass, dude. Yeah, so, what the fuck, man? Is this it? I mean, is this how you're going to go out? You're going to go out like this? You know, and pretty much what reality hit me this time, it was it was pretty much at all angles. It, it hit me from every angle life could give, possibly, you know, hit you with. And we all know reality is, you know, when reality hits you, it, when it rains and pours, it pretty much comes down at you. Um, it can come down at you quite, quite, quite hard, but, uh, you know, I, um, uh, I was like, well, fuck that, so I got on the internet, and I, I started looking up videos and stuff about how to love myself all over again, how to learn how to love myself, right, and so, uh, you know, what I found out was that 
that I could just tell them, you know, do do something better, like, um, even if it was something small, like, you know, pretty much it was about my health at this point. <coughs> um, so what I did is I just, you know, started, um, I started walking. I started walking every single day. Um, you know, I just, uh, I couldn't even walk fuck, 25, 50 feet. And, uh, but, uh, I started juicing, you know, I, I got myself a juicer and I started juicing vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. And, uh, started watching what I was eating and I just kept on walking, and, you know, just little steps, but, uh, you know, as long as I I was bettering myself every day, then that's that's pretty much all that I needed to do. Um, so you know, to give myself a little bit of self worth and you know self confidence or whatever, you know all these all these different things that come along with you know yourself. You know, I mean, uh, I never really had any self worth. I never really. I never really even fucking, I don't know, it's kind of, kind of, sounds kind of crazy, but I know there's a lot of people out there just like me, and I know, I know you're out there, and I know, you know, if this ever gets to you, you'll know exactly what the fuck, where, where the fuck I was at, or what I'm talking about, where I'm coming from, anyways, <coughs> I don't know how long, okay, I've been ranting and raving about, what, 21 minutes now, so I guess I'm going to just just let it go, let it flow. I don't give a fuck how long, it, I don't care about how long this takes or whatever. Um, so, the other day, um, I decided to go for a bicycle ride, you know, there was nothing else to do, so, you know, and... The whole idea was to, you know, just get a little bit of exercise, you know, maybe better myself a little bit, you know, just just get out and go, go for a ride or whatever. But, you know, I did have it in the back of my mind, you know, uh, I did want to go gambling. So, you know, I went and hit the casino. You know, I had 25 bucks or whatever in my pocket. And so I went there and lost that right off the bat. But, you know, on the way home, you know, I hit a couple friends' house. And, uh, I went down to the store, you know, it was across the beach, across the, uh, away from where I live, you know, um, there's, a the cover of the picture, or the picture on this, uh, video here of the tree, that's a picture of, uh, that I took down on the beach that I go walk on, that I've been walking on for the last 35 years. It's right across the street from the house, and uh, uh, you know, it's it's kind of weird because I slammed this beer, and I was walking down this beach, and this beach uh, is just covered with Indian artifacts, like arrowheads, and you know, things of that nature, uh, old beads and shit, you know. And I, w I was walking along, and uh, I've found lots of stuff down there um, in the past. But, uh, you know, I was sitting there, and it was kind of a foggy day, and it was real quiet. And it was, the tide was just, it was real slack, and, you know, there wasn't much wind and shit. And it was kind of foggy. Anyways, so I'm sitting there, you know, half cocked off this beer, and... I was thinking to myself, you know, damn, you know, I was thinking about all the progress that I made, you know, um, you know, since this whole thing started and, uh, I realized that, you know, uh, I've never, never, ever, I'm 41, I've never just, uh, up and just went for a bike ride or something just to get a little bit of exercise or uh just to go just to go i mean because i didn't have nothing to do i just oh well let's go i'm gonna go for a bike ride <laughs> you know i mean it, so anyways i'm down there and you know i find this little fucking arrowhead thing and 
you know, I'm looking around, and I'm looking around, and I'm looking at the beach, and I'm look, thinking about all the erosion. You know, this beach is, you know, like I said, I've been going down there since I was a kid, and, you know, I, I and the bank is, like, eroded so far. It's unbelievable. It's just unbelievable how much it's eroded since, you know, over the days, over the years, whatever. And, you know, I'm taking a stick and I'm even jabbing, jabbing this stick at the side of this bank, you know, and I'm thinking, God, you know, what's it take to even get a little piece of this dirt to even fall, right? You know, I'm thinking, shit, the ocean, I mean, you know, it, it, I mean, the tide, just the tide coming in and out, I mean, it erodes it that fast, you know, and I think back, you know, what about, what the fuck was going on here before I was even around, you know, uh, was there a bunch of Indians sitting around just uh, making arrowheads or, or you know, what, what the fuck were they doing, you know, and I'm just, you know, so it kind of put me in this little time, time trip, you know, in my head, you know, I was just kind of a, you know, I just kind of lost track of time and, uh, it just, I so I turn and I look across the bay, and uh, I would have got a picture of it for you guys, but uh, it, I was surprised at what I saw. There was a, like this old pirate ship out in this the bay, and and I'm not shitting you. My phone went dead like right when I was going to take the picture. My phone died. Okay, <laughs> and I was just like, well, you know what. You know, and, and, and here I am just going, you know, there for a second I was like, motherfucker, you know, what the fuck? You know, I thought, and then I realized, you know, well, fuck that, you know, who gives a fuck about that picture, you know? What about you? You know, see, I forgot about me all over again, you know, I, and I, I just kind of brought me back to where I was, and I realized, well, you know, Fuck that picture. I don't need that picture. I mean, to show other people. You know, I don't, what do I need? I, all I need is me and the, you know, whatever I'm trying in, in the moment that I'm in. You know, that's all I really need. And that, and that whole concept is to be in the here and the now moment is, is so real. And it's, and it's just kind of something that I would like for all of you guys to think about is um, what about the here and the now? I mean, what about right now where you're at or where you're sitting right now? I mean, um, are you, you know, all tripping on some car you need to get or, or uh, you know, you're you're on the phone ranting and raving about the past or, oh, this happened, that happened, or, or you're going to do this or that or whatever. But what about the here and the now? What about right now? I mean, even if you're not don't have everything you want and you know you're having a shitty time or whatever you know I just just take it in take it all in and and forget about the past and forget about the future and just take the now right where you're at right now and just take it in and feel it or feel it you know rather it's good or bad just feel it because you're supposed to feel it uh, you know, we don't like feeling bad and shit, you know, oh, this is a shit, you know, people sit around, oh, fuck, this sucks, you know, we don't have a goddamn cigarette or whatever the fuck it is, you know, oh, fuck, this sucks, but actually, uh, you know, that's, that's the whole, that's the part that, that, you know, that I've learned to realize that, you know, that, those are the parts that count, you know, uh, you're supposed to feel that shit, um, I don't know, so I just stopped, and I, I, I just stopped what I was doing. I was looking on the ground for these arrowheads and shit like that. I was down there on the beach, and I, so I just stopped and took a moment and just uh, watched this, like, pirate boat go through the fog. It was, like, the most beautiful thing in the world. It, it was just, uh, just, uh, if you could have saw it, it was just amazing, and I just sat there, and I just took it in, you know? Um, and it was, I, I just, you know, it, I don't know. It just, uh, <clears throat> the things that I've been going through lately has really made, I've really learned quite a bit about life. Um, 
uh, I'm gonna fucking just snap into second gear here and uh, uh, move on to this, some shit. You know, um, what about you? Uh, what about you? Where are you at in life? You know, do you know the time? Do you know your purpose in life? You know, what about your dreams? Do you have dreams or do you have goals? Or, you know, where are you at in life? I mean, are you happy? I mean, is that the key to life is actually what? Happiness, you know? If you get, you know, if you can be happy, then that's what it's really all about, right? You know, to feel good, to feel good about yourself, you know, just to be happy and content, you know? you know, while we're alive. I mean, isn't that what it's all about? <clears throat> you know, and I, I used to think, you know, uh, that my life was just, uh, you know, I didn't give a fuck. As long as I had a sack, I'd fucking just get loaded and shit. It didn't, you know, life was just, I never really, I, I forgot about all that. I skipped all that part. But that's all right. Fuck. So... What about you? Have you ever? Uh, I know there's. I know there's lots of you out there that just just don't give a fuck. You know, fuck it. You out. You know, you just gave up. You know, it doesn't matter anymore. Not you know, you're just to the point in life. You know, and I'm speaking about myself, where I was at, and how I felt. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me and the way that I felt before. Uh, before I came to realize, you know, and learn, uh, you know, a few things about life, because where I was at, I didn't give a fuck about nothing. I didn't. I could give a shit less. I didn't. I, if I didn't have to move, then I wouldn't. I mean, it. Basically, if I had to go take a piss or something, you know, that's where about the only time that I would even give a shit about moving. I wouldn't even. I. I would put my cigarette out. Or wherever I wouldn't even reach for the ashtray if there was one. I I just it was just terrible, folks. Um, nobody, you just couldn't be any more lazier than I was. I could guarantee you that. I mean, well, I guess unless you're too lazy to go take a shit, and you're shitting in your pants because you don't want to move. I guess that would be uh, one step further than where I was at. And I know there's people out there like that because when I was growing up, uh, I just happened to live by some people that were that bad. But uh, we won't go into any names or anything. But I have seen quite a quite a bit in my life. And so, anyways, uh, not that that really matters or anything. But um, I just thought I'd uh, I just thought I'd uh, reach out to everybody this evening and. Uh, thought I'd give a little bit of inspiration to uh, uh, some people out there. Um, you know, I personally don't, you know, now that I've come to realize and now that I've learned a few things about, you know, myself and life and my purpose of life, you know, and now that I have goals and boundaries and all this stuff, you know, all this stuff's new to me, you know, even, even 11, uh, so, uh, falling actually really truly in love with somebody, you know, I never really knew what it was like to have all these feelings and shit, you know, <clears throat> like all you people out there, I mean, I, there's a lot of, pe of you out there that love, you know, you guys have, are married and, you, you know, and all that, well, you know, all this, all this shit was new to me, so, anyway, so, what I, what I started doing is, I, I started, well, I had to realize how to love myself, and then I had to really think, stop and think about, you know, wh what about me, what about the things that I like, what about what I want to do in life, or where I want to go in life, or who I can be in life, or what, what life could be. Or, you know, I had to think about, well, is it too late for me? Um, can I make a change? Can, you know, what, what the fuck? You know, so I really had to do some soul searching. And I really had to think about some things, you know. And I come to the conclusion that, you know, it's not too late for me. And um, 
you know, I, I sat and I thought about, you know, some of the things I'd like to do and that I would love to do and, you know, what would be my ideal, you know, uh, what I would, you know, if I was to die, what would I, where would I be, you know? So I came up with all those things and it was kind of hard, but, uh, uh, it took me a few days, but, you know, I, I figured it all out and, uh, I, I, I've been working at it, you know, I've, since then, uh, shit, I was at 285, uh, just walking and, uh, juicing, watching what I eat and shit, you know, I've lost what it's been a few months now, <clears throat> I've lost, uh, 40 plus pounds of weight, and, um, I, I can walk a, a mile without having to stop and rest, um, every time I go outside, it feels good. I feel good about myself. People, uh, people compliment me and say, wow, you know, you've lost weight, you look good, all this stuff, you know, and it just feels good to hear that kind of shit, you know, from people that are like, wow, you know, whoa, you know, what, what the hell's happened to you? But, you know, all I know is, is, all I can say is that there's a choice, you know, we all have greatness. All of you have greatness. Uh, and the power and everything inside of you. It's just, you need to come. To, it's a choice that you're going to make. You're going to, you know, you're you're either going to sit there and think, well, fuck, you know, what, what the fuck, where is this all going, dude, with your little speech and shit? Well, here's where it's going, okay? Because a lot of you, this isn't even for you because you're already, you know, uh, this is for more of the people that, are just to the point where they don't give a fuck. They're they're they, they've given up on their health. They're well well like you know well overweight. You know I was at uh, two eighty five. I mean if you're a anywhere five foot and you're uh, over two eighty five, let me tell you, um, you know that's about where I was about ready to die. So you know, and if you're not doing anything about it then you're okay with where you're at, you know, you've just given up, and that's just where life's, that's the end of it, you know, you're just, you know, uh, that's just what, how, how it is, that's just what it's going to be, you know, so this is, this is for, you know, this is just a little uh, inspiration, or a little bit of something for you guys out there, because, you know what, uh, it's not too late for you, you can, you can, make a difference you can be the person you want to be you are if you could only know your potential it would scare you you i know you have dreams i know that this is the person that you are inside your head it's kind of funny how you know, we all lie to ourselves, we all give ourselves credit or whatever, we think, oh, you know, but, but oh, yeah, I'd go kick that fucker's ass, but really, you couldn't even fucking let, you know, punch a flea out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, so it's kind of funny, you know, separating reality from real reality, but the real reality is, is who the fuck are you, and what the fuck, you know, have you ever thought about who you could be, or who you have the potential to be? Um, you know, I'd like to encourage everybody out there to, uh, stop in their fucking little tracks and their little, uh, uh, little fucking ruts that they, in life that they're just stuck in. You know, it's, oh, it's my way. I don't want to hear nothing new or fuck everybody's opinion. Oh, fuck, you know, it's fucking my way or no way or fucking, you know, that's, a, you know, this attitude, you know, uh, attitude's everything. You know, I'm like, hey, bro, you know, listen to this song. Oh, fuck, fuck, what the fuck for you? You know, it's not really about that. It's more so just uh, why not try something new? You know, why not take uh, something in from a different angle? You know, you never know. It, it, you know, so I'd like to encourage all of you guys to, uh, you know, think about this. Think about are you happy? Uh, are you really happy? I mean, what is it? in your life that is keeping you, you taken, you know, what drives you, or even if you've totally given up and nothing drives you, you don't give a fuck about shit, <clears throat> also, 
I'd love to tell you that you can you can do anything. You can snap the fuck out of it and be uh, as, uh, somebody that you have no idea. You just gotta uh, do something about it. Uh, you know, you gotta have patience. Um, and you know, follow your dreams. You know, uh, I really don't personally don't think that uh, any of us have dreams that weren't given to us for the specific person or reason for the specific reason in, in accomplishing these dreams for yourself. I think they're yours because they were given to you because and and you were given the ability to make these dreams come true. You know, I really think that there's a lot more meaning and purpose and reasoning behind your personal, uh, what you would like, you know, your dreams, you know, we all have dreams. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, think of it as your destiny. I mean, what, what would you want to accomplish or what would you like to do in your life? Um, you know, sit down. Um, I mean, it's not going to be easy. You know, to change your life. Uh, you know, we all have problems and uh, failure. I mean, there's going to be, you know. But what what the hell is your problem? What's stopping you? You know, stop and think about what's... And pinpoint your problem. Uh, you know, y y your problems are never going to leave you, ever. They're not... Y y they're going to haunt you forever and ever for until you die if you let it. If you let them, you know, you've got to deal with the problems, okay? You'll never reach your goals. You'll never reach your dreams. If you even have dreams or goals. If you don't, you need to You need to set some goals and dreams. You need to follow your dreams. You need to be positive. You need to get rid of all the negativity in your life. You need to start surrounding yourself with people that uh, are positive, And you need to get rid of all the negative people in your life. You know, um, the whole... Birds of a feather flock together, you know, that's true. I mean, you are who you surround yourself with. So, you know, if you're going to surround yourself with fucking losers, you're going to be a fucking loser, right? So, you know, and until you deal with your fucking problems, your problems are never going to fucking leave you, and you're just going to die, you know, like a little bitch, you know. So the number one thing is to deal with it, even if it's a small step, even if it's just uh, barely doing anything and make yourself better every day, even if it's... Uh, uh, to go outside or even to get out of bed or even to do anything anything that could help you um, I, even if it's like to stand up for I mean you know even if you can't stand up just try I mean, as long as you're trying to do something then every day you do it a little bit more then, then that's all you need to do and that's that's how you work, you know, and just push, push, you know, and, and but it's going to take time. You got to have patience and it's going to be a progress in work. You know, you're going to work towards it. And so, you know, you can do it. I mean, and I know the hardest part for me was to even get started doing anything. You know, I, I, it, it just was like, well, fuck, okay, I want to lose weight, but how do I get started? Well, anyways, you know, just as long as you can do that, just get started doing it. And once you get started, you'll be a slave to yourself and you, you know, you'll start caring about yourself and you'll start, you know, you won't want to let yourself down. You know, fuck, fuck the world, fuck everybody else. What about you? you know, what about your health, though? You know, who are you? Are you nobody or are, are you somebody? I mean, you know, who you think you are in the world or whatever. The way people look at you, you know, it, it's just the whole, the, whole, the whole life, the whole thing in life is, is you have the potential to be something so great. You could, uh, we all have the power inside of us to even change the world. You know, I hear a lot of people ranting and raving, oh, you know, they come on here and they talk, 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 talk. What the fuck are they talking about? Nothing. Um, I mean, it's just blah, 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 blah. Oh, I think this. Oh, well, I did this. My, my fucking progress, my ascension, my fucking da, 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 on and on, blah, blah, blah. Dude, it's, it, it, it's, it's pointless. It's pointless. The only thing that we have, if anybody wants to make any kind of change or difference or fucking, you know, it, it, 
especially for the broadband people that have this, you know, well, oh, you know, and they sit around and they talk about, oh, well, what's going on in the fucking world today? Oh, all this presidency, you know, the election and all this shit, you know, it's like, dude, you need to forget about all this bullshit and you need to fucking stop and think about you, okay, because you, the only thing you, okay, you're just a speck in the world, okay, you're just a person, but but there's a way that you could be more than that. You, we all have the potential to be great and, and to make changes in this world that we have really, I mean, our potential is greater than what we could ever know. So the whole idea here is to um, to tell you that, to give you a little bit of, uh, uh, to realize that, I mean, um, all you got to do is hit the internet. Everybody has the internet. Or why don't you just Google that? Why don't you just Google uh, how to love yourself? Uh, you know, or, uh, you know, uh, a person, what a person's, um, you know, potential is. I mean, you know, it wasn't until I went there and I realized, wow, what the fuck. And, you know, like I said, it's only been a couple months and uh, I would have never, ever, ever been sitting here saying any of this stuff. I mean, since then, I've, I've come to realize that who I am, what I want, where I'm going in life. I have goals. I've never had goals. I never fucking had goals. I never fucking gave a fucking shit about nothing besides fucking whose dick my dick was going in and whose fucking bag of dope that I was doing or whatever. Okay, that's all I gave a fuck about was uh, me, my truck, my dirt bike, uh, and, and drugs. And, you know, it was just the fast lane. And that's all I gave a fuck about. I never knew that I fucking, I never knew about a person's self worth. I never gave a fuck about the whole world. Fuck, I was caught up in the world. Fuck, I never knew about all the shit that matters. And you know what? I've come to realize. I've come to realize that you know the things that really matter in life are free. All your friends, all your family. You know what about all the people that you love? What about that? Those are the priceless, priceless things in the world that are free. That we all take for granted. We take for granted our fucking parents, our friends. You know, uh, you know, and it's not until they're dead or gone that you fucking realize. Oh well, I can't replace it. It's not even replaceable. You know all this bullshit, all these cars and shit, uh, all this material bullshit in the world. You know, you money. You take money, you buy it. It's okay. We all value it. Oh, look at you. You look at. You know, you go, oh, we value our things, you know, that we can buy with money, all this fucking material bullshit. Well, you know, all that shit could be replaced. All that shit could be bought. All that shit, you know, you could fucking have your house burned down and you can go and replace it all. Uh, you can even do that a few times, uh, you know. But what about what happens when, what about, what about the time that you could have spent with your, you know, kids? What about the time you could have, or what about, what about the way you sh you know, it's not until after, after everything is done and gone, that you fucking realize really how important it is, what, what, what really means the most to yourself, you know, so I don't give a fuck if you're out there, you're happily married, or you think you're happily married, you know, or uh, that you're okay in life, you know, um, maybe, uh, maybe you could just take a minute and just think about, you know, um, who, uh, you know, how much, how how much more of a better person than you could be, you know? Or, or would would it? I, I mean, you know. I think to myself. I think, well, you know, if I was to be able to say something, just like I'm saying something now, what would it do? And and would it make a difference in anybody's life? Because you know, I, I thought about it. And I thought, I thought to myself, well, even if it makes a difference in one person's life for the better then I think that, that I would feel good about that, you know? So that would be the actual reason behind me even having anything to say on on any kind of little radio or computer or online or any, anything like this that I'm doing right now because, every, you know, I could sit here and do who blah, 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 fucking, oh, what about the, you know, little fucking... Uh, whatever it is, you know, or what do you think, you know, little uh, interviews and shit or whatever you guys, or whatever it is, I'd rather just go solo and just say, hey, you know, you are worth more than you think, you can, it's not too late for you, you can make a difference in your life, you, uh, you know, um, 
I'm going to do, what I'm going to put together is, uh, you know, not right now, or I don't know when, but here shortly. Um, I am going to do a little, little video, a little inspiring, or uh, let's see, what do they call it? Um, what do they call it? Um, uh, uh, an inspirational, like, um, you know, motivational uh, uh, little video of myself, because <clears throat> of where I was, what I looked like when I started, and um, where I, uh, my goals are, and what I'm doing, and you know, it's gonna have, show me all the way through there. Because you know, I I I have a goal, you know, and you know, rather it was because of my life, uh, the life that I've had, or the life that I've went through, or whatever. It really doesn't matter to me what has led me to uh, my goals or my dreams. I've come to realize that you know I do I do have something that I would like to do and I do have a dream and I and I'm making it a goal and I'm working towards it and I'm and it's it's going along well um I'm just about halfway there um I I would love to you know go do a cage match a fight cage fight I'd like to go get in the ring and fight you know um so, you know, you could take that as a negative thing or whatever. I really don't give a flying fucking rat's ass what you think about that. But I would like to get in the octagon and go get knocked the fuck out or knock somebody the fuck out, okay? But, unfortunately, um, I have to lose. I uh, From when I started, I had to lose 85 pounds, okay? So, I'm a little over halfway there. And, uh... I still got some things to learn, and it's I've still got some time. Uh, I still got a lot of work to do before I reach the two hundred mark. But I do have to say that I've made uh, <laughs> enough progress now that uh, I really, uh, even if I really <laughs> wanted to butt out of it or <laughs> get out of it, I really don't think I could. <laughs> but anyways. I'm just going to cut this off here real real short because, uh, you know, there's just too much. I could rant. I could go on forever. Uh, you know, uh, take all I got to say is, you know, you, your friends, uh, your friends are your friends. Choose your friends wisely. Uh, you, know, you know, surround yourself with good people. Um and realize that you have a reason you have you are you know you have the potential of being anything you want to be you know so I man think it's so he is if you think and put in your mind that you could do something then you will do it so don't give up don't give up don't be stagnant don't just sit there oh fuck it don't just you know just try that's all I'm saying is just, just stop and think about inside of you. Think about what you want to do, where you, you know, is there anything, even if it's, you want to be a talk show host, you want to be a fucking movie star, whatever it is, a singer, whatever it could be, you know, a bodybuilder, a singer, a fucking actor, whatever. You know, those are things that you can do. It's not too late for you. You, you know, just, just reach inside yourself and make the, you know, and find that. I mean, you know, I, I really, <laughs> oh, fuck, I was, I you know, there's a lot, there's a lot more to life than, you know, what we all, you know, and for me, this is all new to me, so I'm just giving you guys, you know, I'm just sharing a little piece of, you know, my uh, little story with you guys, um, So again, I just want you to ask yourself, what the hell is your dream? You know, take a look at it, think about it, you know, envision it, see it, see yourself doing it. You know, I don't really believe in any of it. So I've already said this before, as was given to dreams that we, you know, weren't, that we weren't given for the, the reason and the purpose uh, of us accomplishing it. You know, that means that, you know, we were all given whatever, whatever you find inside you, you were given the know-how and the ability to to make it happen. 
from uh, whatever you want to call it, a higher power or whatever, you know, this is real shit, I mean, you know, you can accomplish it, you can have, you make your dreams come true, as long as you work for it every day, in a constant, you know, consistency is key, you know, one day at a time, it's not too late for you, you know, fuck everyone uh, that wants to hold you back or say you can't do it, and, uh, you know, You know, uh, nobody else is going to be able to see your dream but you. Nobody's going to be able to see you doing it. Uh, you know, so don't, so when you're out red, oh yeah, I'm going to do this, or they're not going to see what you're seeing, you know, so they're going to be like, oh, okay, whatever, you know, just, just let all that go. Just keep it to yourself and just keep working hard at it, you know, and you, you will uh, see yourself, you'll see progress, you know, and so. All the pain and all the shit that you're going to go through, you're going to feel that. There's going to be a lot of pain. I mean, just just know that. I mean, learn to like it. You know, it, it, nobody can stop you from, you know, trying to reach for, or fight for your goals or your meaning or your purpose or whatever the hell it is that you're trying to accomplish. Nobody can tell you, uh, oh, blah, blah, blah. So, fuck it, fuck them all, right? So, anyways, that's about it. That's all I really got to fucking say. <laughs> you know, uh, hopefully this, uh, this, uh, will, uh, inspire some of you out there to, uh, better yourself in any which way possible, even if it's the smallest little thing in the world. Uh, you know, and hopefully, uh, you know, I didn't waste my time just, rant, just talking to myself, uh, uh, and so, pretty much that's about it. Peace out. Have a good day. And hopefully, uh, every day gets better and better for you. Bye.